In previous videos, I showed you how to compare two images using a program called Nomax and compare two or more images at the same time. Now, wouldn't it be nice if you could do the same thing with video? Well, now you can with Video Compare. Video Compare is a tool that you can use to compare two videos at the same time. Developed by John, whose last name I am not going to butcher. This is his GitHub page where you can go and download this program. If you do a lot of video encoding, this tool is a must. It's available for Windows and Linux and we'll be using the version for Windows, which is supported on Windows 10 and up. So we'll just go to the releases latest page and download the zip. You see this little message where the browser is unsure if we should download, right click and say allow download. While that's downloading, you can see some screenshots of what the program looks like and get an idea as to how to compare video. So once downloaded, we'll go ahead and extract. Now go into the video compare folder and running the program is simple enough. We'll just open up a terminal window here. Later, I'll show you how to add this program to the send to menu so that you don't have to use the terminal to run this program. And so in the command line, we'll just do dot slash video compare. And then just drag two videos that we want to compare. I'll start with this MP4 video. Drag that in and then press space. I'll drag the second video in. This is the MKV file that was re-encoded. It looks much worse. So let's get a comparison of that. And when we press enter, we can see both videos playing at the same time. I'm going to press space and that will pause the playback. And using the mouse, we can drag this slider back and forth and see the difference between the two videos. Use the left mouse button to zoom in, zoom out. And you can see the quality difference that MKV re-encode looks absolutely horrible in comparison to the original. If you press the left mouse button, you can seek through the video. So going to the left takes you to the beginning of the video. Clicking on the right side takes you to the end of the video and everywhere in between. Again, you can press the space bar to pause playback. You can use the left and right arrows to seek back and forth a frame. You can use the up and down arrows to seek back and forth 15 seconds. And you can press the J key to reduce playback speed while L increases the playback speed. You can press escape to get out of the playback. I'm going to start it back up again. And you can use the Z key to get a zoom in shot. If you press the F key, it'll save a PNG file wherever you loaded the program from. In my case, it was in the video compare folder and downloads. And here is the PNG it saved of the comparison. And so that's pretty much it for video compare as far as basic controls. There are more keyboard controls under controls on the GitHub page. And if you press the H key in this program, it will show you all the keyboard shortcuts that you can use. Now I'd like to show you how to add video compare to your send to menu so that you can select two videos and run them in video compare without having to open the terminal. As described by the GitHub page, all we'll do is copy this shell send to. We'll open up run and we're going to paste that in and this will open up the send to folder where all we have to do is drag the video compare will create a shortcut and so now I'll go ahead and select this mp4 video in this mkv and when we go to the send to menu we'll just see video compare.exe click that and it'll start playing the video I'll pause so we can see the details here now we can easily compare two videos at the same time. If you like my content, consider becoming a YouTube member, get early access to new content, or consider becoming a Patreon member and get access to exclusive content too hot for YouTube.